Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is the movie trivia showdown, and man, it has been all out war, craziness, insanity happening in the world of the showdown. And um, look, there was a lot of different things that was going on, obviously, with uh, what we first started because. Let's call it what it is. The the COVID set everything back in the world, you know, and, and obviously uh, sports and in, gen- in general have been thrown out the window. The way people are dealing with certain things, the world itself has been thrown out the window. So um, we didn't know what we were going to do. We knew that we were going to do some uh, matches and, and exhibition matches, and we've had some fun exhibition matches. And, and basically what has happened throughout that, the exhibition matches we've found that we can do this we can do this and we're going to do the the two tournaments the inner geek tournament the star wars tournament and what we also realized that with the factions needed to uh make their final decisions we're kind of like midway through it and there's a lot of great free agents out there there's people out there that uh maybe new players that have never played before there's some other people out there there's there's uh there's old pros that have been out there before people who have played in the game and hadn't had their shot you know maybe the way that they thought they were going to be in the past however that's all changed. Um, so what we're going to do here is be very simple. Managers have reached out to players and not. And there are some players in here, too, that are on the fence. Still, they might have committed and then realized, oh, man, that person reached out to me two two days later. And I, I told you, you don't have to make any decisions because there's, I know that there's a few people that said to someone, OK, I'm in. And then they realized, oh, wait, maybe I'm not in because I have. Uh, maybe I'm not in. Because I didn't realize that person wanted me to. So there's some drama. There's some people maybe you never thought we're going to be in this thing that are in this thing. So we're going to start out. I'm going to start out with a big one here. I'm going to start with a big one because this particular person has been courted and has been courted uh, for a bit now. She is uh, she is someone that w- they were talking about for a while and saying, hey, how come no one picked her up? What's going to happen? And then the Star Wars tournament comes in. And then everybody starts talking about her. Of course, I'm talking about Molly Damon. Hello, Molly. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. I'm, I, I have to say, first of all, I'm I'm thrilled to have you back in the league. Um, you're someone that I, you and I have always gotten along very well. Uh, obviously, you are married to the current uh, movie trivia mode on Star Wars champion, Alex Damon. You performed very well at the Star Wars Celebration match. It was, it was I, maybe, I think it was a little daunting in general because it's hard to debut in the Schmodown at all. Couple that with in front of like 600 people for your first time in a high profile number one contender match. Did that start a little bit of the hesitancy of maybe playing in the Schmodown? A little bit, yeah. I mean, it's definitely uh, scary to start out at a Star Wars event and have it be live. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, okay. So we knew that we knew that there are people that are going to be looking at you and that knew that you had, now there are a couple offers a, f- a couple people had come your way, the tournament, you are going to be in the star Wars tournament. That's confirmed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you officially announce who you have decided to go, uh, go with? Uh, so I was reached out to you by a few people, um, and took a couple of days to think about it, but I decided to go with the usual suspects. The usual suspects. Well, all right. So Sam Levine picking up a very strong competitor here. He made some big moves with Ethan Irwin and he reached out and now Molly. So, so, so how come, how come Sam Levine? Just curious. Well, you know, a lot of people were saying that I should go with Roxy and keep it in the family. And me and Alex should be, kind of like a team on the same faction and that's just not my style i want a little more competition i love that I love it. Dark Ray, indeed. Um, all right, Molly. Well, listen, thank you. Congratulations. I cannot wait to see you in action once again. We start the tournament on May 20th. Now that you're officially announced, we will have all of the competitors that will be announced in the tournament uh, very, very soon. People got to look out. Let me ask one question, though, before I let you go. Um, Andrew DeMolanta has been talking about hey, the motivation, motivation, motivation is Alex Damon. Should Andrew DeMolanta be worried about a different Damon? Oh, look at that. So right away, we're going to have maybe, maybe, maybe a Dimolanta versus Damon battle, but not in the way that he thought. So Molly, thank you so much. Congratulations. Look forward to seeing you in, uh, in this season. Thanks. All right. So there's Molly Damon. So an off 
we go. We start. We have uh, we have our uh, our first competitor there. Now I'm bringing in another competitor. Now this guy, this is a guy who um, I was very curious why no one picked him up. I didn't understand how no one could uh, no one could get this guy, and um, and now realize that there are a few factions that are looking at him, and I am and I see what he does. His knowledge. I don't know if there's anybody that knows movies better than this character. Yes. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's yes. back. He's back. Mance Man is back. The Mance Man is back. He is back. He is tanned. You are he's tanned. Very, you? very rested. I You're mean, come on. Sexy individual. Look at you. We're we're all we're all we're all rested here, right, Christian? Man. I am you know, well. I don't. I have children, so I don't know how rested I am. But uh, but I will tell you that I am excited. You and I have had conversations here. Um, we have talked. We had. Uh, I know that you were approached by a particular uh, few factions, and you, you and I, we had our we had our conversation. We had a good conversation, as you and I always do. Yep. Um, and I told you, I'm glad to have you back. But I said, I, I there's nobody that I want to hear make their announcement on where they're going more than you. Um, so please allow the audience to know. Where are you going, Mintz? Well, well, first of all, you know, it's been a while since I since I took part in the Schmodown of any kind. The, the last time was when I did the movie release dates match with Ben Bateman and won. And won. Okay. I won. Right. That. But that was, uh, what was it, two years ago? More than two years ago? So, you know, it's been a while and I've been just busy doing other things and I really haven't been able to commit to the Schmodown and, uh, but I, I loved where the Schmodown was going. I love what you and Mark really have done with it. I think it's really awesome. And I, you know, see a lot of my friends doing it and I missed it. And, and then I just thought that I was just kind of out of it. And then I got asked by one person uh -oh. who I, I really uh -oh. like a lot, someone I've known for many, many years, someone who directed one of my favorite movies of all time, uh -oh. Enterprise, uh -oh. Robert, Meyer. Wow, you're going with the Droogs. Going with the Droogs. Going with the Droogs. Man's man the on the Droogs. So look at that. RMB makes another move here. He this makes one's another. For you, move. RMB. This one's for you. Wow, Man's man is back. I'm excited to have you back. We miss you. Um, you, the energy that you bring, just to be able to hang out with you more. I love, I love hanging out with you. I love having you back in in the league. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. Um, I'm excited to have you back. And and look, man, we, we have some fun things to do. So uh, we're going to hang out soon. Thank you, Mance, man. Looking forward to it. Thanks, buddy. See you You're soon. The, you're the man. So we're playing reunion. Let's let's continue the reunion. Let's continue the reunion because um, the next uh, the next competitor is someone that I have uh, I always had a pleasure of seeing a lot. I would walk in and I'd see this person every single day. And we would talk and we laugh and I would make a fart noise in her ear and she would uh, and she and she would try not to laugh, but she would laugh. And I, of course, I'm talking about scary Perry Nemiroff. She's back, ladies and gentlemen. We are having reunions. We are having reunions. And here is our reunion right now. Uh, Perry, look, w there's there's no there's no uh, mystery. We, when we first brought you in, you were you're a very competitive person. Um you, you you're a sports person you love you love uh you know you even when when you played fantasy football you learned it you you do your research it's why you're one of the best um so when we you know you had your run with tough beats and you know it didn't it didn't go the way that we hoped you know um and then you came back and you played in a few exhibitions and you had a lot of fun and then you played again in two exhibitions this round and you and i talked and you're like i'm not gonna lie i had a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> so and then yeah. You, yeah, and then you started getting approached. But what, let's first, why the decision to come back? Because it's fun. I just need to suck it up and be okay with losing every once in a while, and understand that I got to get better at the game. But right. you know, you give me two topics that I'm pretty good at, and I'm gonna get that itch to compete again. I knew it was bound to happen. Well, I'm glad that it has happened, and I'm glad that you were back. All right, so you have a few offers on the table. That I do. Now Perry Nemiroff coming back in. Where are you going? This this was a harder decision than I thought it would be. And it got it got even harder after I did my research and I realized what the standings were because you said it, I'm competitive and I want to be on the team that's doing the absolute best. 
But I think what I need in order to play my best is a supportive manager and a whole group of people who I know are just like the friendliest, coolest, most lovable people in the world. So I have a feeling a lot of people might know which team I'm talking about right now. It's the quirky Mercs. Wow. You're going going with the Mercs. So here I trust. So Coy Jandrew, so here is what I've just been told by Coy Jandrew. There was a couple offers that he had on. He wasn't mm-hmm. sure who was going to take. He is rescinding his other offers to anyone else now that Perry has taken. So if you had Quirky Mercs, that's off the table because he's holding another spot. So if you had Quirky Mercs, it is no longer available. So Perry Nemiroff taking the Quirky Mercs spot. Unbelievable. I'm so excited to have you back. That I think that's perfect. You and Haley now, that makes sense. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. I mean, the second I saw Haley's name on that list, too, I'm like, this is just meant to be. I got to mm-hmm. go for it. And I'm excited to get back in the ring. I love that you're coming back. Um, look at that. Perry Nemiroff back in the house. Excited to have you, Perry. Looking forward to it. Looking yes. forward to seeing what you can do. Yeah, I can't right. wait. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye, guys. All right. Perry Nemiroff back in the house and Quirky Mercs out. But Talk about comebacks. I want another comeback in here because this was someone that I had a pleasure of. Every time I would talk to this young lady, we would have great conversations. She's a sweetheart. I would see her at, and I'd be at, I'd be at a mall and I would see her and I'd have conversations with her every time. I, uh, she's just a really, really nice person. And I, and I've wanted, I've been rooting for her to play again. She didn't get drafted. and I was curious why, um, but she's back now and she, and it looks like she's going to take a faction Sabina Graves. Hi, everyone. Hey, Christian. Nice to have you. Doing good. I'm excited to have you back. I'm excited to see you back in the league. And uh, man, it's uh, it's been a little bit. So first, let's talk about the draft. You know, the draft, it it, it this big thing kind of happened. You you were, I think you were able to make the actual uh, draft itself, but they, it so it happens, and we didn't see your name called that particular time. But is you were taking a step back a little bit too? But now that's not the case. So why the decision to, to come back? Uh, you know, with the world in, in the place that it is, you know, I think we need a lot more of entertainment and at home, um, you know, like movie culture and everyone in, you know, like in, I look back on uh, the Schmodan uh, games that I've been a part of and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I think I want to be a part of that again. And um, I was just, you know, seeing, looking for an opportunity, you know, and uh, I've been really busy recently. So it's something that's like I've been wanting to do, but it's like, can I do it? I'm not sure. And so I, I think you can. I think you've had some really good runs because, of course, you and Sean Gerber were a team uh, together. And um, all right, so look, you've been, you've had, you, you've had some people reach out. Where are you going? Okay, so after a considerable amount of thought, um, I've decided to return to the league, and I will be joining the usual suspects. Usual suspect, Sam yeah. Levine, picking up yet another. This is a good pick from Sam. Sam Levine making some moves here. Picks up Molly Damon, picks up Sabina Graves. And uh, look, this is why Sam? You know, um, one of the biggest motivators for me uh, uh, being a part of the Schmodan is just the love of movies and, like, the friendliest people. So being reached out to here was a no brainer for me. I, I definitely said a resounding yes. Uh, my, my, my deliberation was like five minutes, um, but yeah, I know. And I'm excited to like be a part of this again. And like, you know, uh, being a part of the free for all, when I started out, I was able to see kind of like my, my weird well of knowledge pop out and I was able to be on that table for a while. Right. And um, when I was doing something solo and I'm excited to see, you know, where that can take me. And I'm excited to learn the stuff that I don't know. (laughs) Well, I'm glad to have you back. I think that you make the league stronger. I'm glad that you do. I'm glad that you're back. I'm glad that you're with Sam. And of course, you know, Rachel Cushing is, is always circulating the usual suspects. And I know that's something uh, that a lot of people are excited about. Anytime you can learn knowledge from either one of those great players. So congratulations, Sabina. I'm very excited to have you back. And I think this is uh, this is great news for the league. Thank you. Awesome. See everyone soon. All right. All right. So that's Sabina Graves going to the usual suspects. Now, this next one, there's going to be a lot of people who are like, well, who's that? I don't know who that is. And I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe there's certain people who do know who this person is, but I've seen this person. There's not a lot of fan com- league competitors that have been uh, that were on the roster because uh, or in, in a free agent list because, you know, yet. We haven't heard a lot of these people yet. We don't know yet. Maybe as rookies next year, we'll hear more of them. So there haven't been any fan league players. However, there's a name that kept circulating that I kept hearing about. 
there's a name that I that I keep saying, well, who's that? I keep talking about this guy. It's very similar. Every time I heard uh, other competitors in the past, families, it's like when I, when I start to hear enough people talk about him, I start to pay attention. Then I started to look. Then I realized that this guy has been a big fan of the league for a while. I had the pleasure, apparently, of meeting him with, with, uh, with Mark Ellis. We don't know him yet. We don't know he's going to be good. Adam Collins. Adam Collins is hey. in the movie Trivia Schmodown. How are you, Adam? What's going on? Uh, it's been a surreal uh, 72 hours, but I'm, I'm sure. doing well. It's I'm sure. doing well. <laughs> yeah, man. So look, so first of all, I mean, you you probably hit like a, they're probably a whirlwind for you because the first I when I because I I had reached out to Robert Parker and I said, what do you know about this guy? Is he is he is he a crazy person? Who's how how, how is this guy? And he said he said uh, yeah, he's a crazy person. I said great, he's perfect. <laughs> you no, know, he's he's a good guy and he's family man. He's uh he's 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 excited and Parker gave you a nice uh nice endorsement. So um glad to hear that. Yeah, man. So, so look, you get the you get the message from me. Now, you're just starting your fan league career, so it's it's in it's it's one of those things where, because of obvious reasons, you, you can't do both. You can't do the schmodown and the and the family. Yeah. Um. So that's that's one tough choice that you have to make there too. But what do you, what's your initial thought when you get the, uh, you know, when you get the email from me? Well, I just was double checking that it was really you, and <laughs> then after that, um, you know, I it was a no brainer. I mean. I got into this. I got into the fan leagues last year uh, with the long-term goal of hopefully maybe someday getting a shot. Um, didn't expect it to come this soon. I'm very confident in my knowledge base. I've had some tough competition in those fan matches, um, and I'm eager to prove myself in, a, in the biggest arena there is. All right, so you're going to have the opportunity to do it because, like I said, I told you refer the first thing for me was to let you know that you were on the list. Now that's that's as far as I can take you. Then you have to be approached. Um, you were yeah. approached. You're approached by a couple of managers. Um, that's where it gets that difficult, right? Figuring out like where do I go? Right, right. Uh, yeah, no, I was approached by a couple of managers. Had some really good, uh, insightful conversations, um, and I approached this with the idea in mind that I'm, I'm playing the long game here. I want to get to know everybody as well as I can. But uh, yeah, I, I believe I've come to a decision. All right, so here you go, Adam. There's a drum roll. Where are you going? After a lot of thought, um, and I know this might su surprise some people in the fan leagues, but I am going to join uh, Corruption. Wow, Corruption. You yeah. don't seem like a Corruption type of guy. Well, to I've, got, I've got a dark side like we all do, and they've got a pretty stacked faction of players that I think uh, a lot of people are still sleeping on. Um, a lot of them I look up to a lot, and okay. I'm really eager to work with this group. Well, it makes sense, though, too, because you look at like uh, Chance Ellison, who, you know, Chance was really the first guy to break through from the fan leagues. So he'll probably be able to help you in that capacity. And once we uh, and end, if we're doing if we're doing tournaments after these two, after the inter inner geekdom and uh, and Star Wars, if we're still doing them online, you, you, you're going to have a little bit of an advantage. Um, but even if even if, if we don't, you know, you'll still be able to. Uh, come on in, and we know that we we talked about it. You'll be able to travel and and compete. So look, sure. I'm excited to have you in there. Um, congratulations! And people are asking which uh, which division you're going to play. Well, um, singles is my passion. General movie trivia. I'm ready and ready to rock there as soon as you'll have me. Um, yeah. But don't sleep on me in inner geekdom. Um, I've played some geek matches in the fan leagues, um, and I also had a big Star Wars match, which sadly was uh lost in the editing process but i have a lot of witnesses who can vouch that it was quite quite a match that i did win i'm eager to play in all four divisions well i'm excited to, to have you my man thank you for joining us here today and congratulations to uh corruption there for landing uh for landing the new rook all Thanks, right christian thank you adam all right there's adam collins so already some moves being made um and let's now talk to this guy because this guy was another guy who I, I used to see him. I'd see him at premieres and I'd see him at, at screenings and, and we'd always get along. We'd always have some good conversations and, and he's just one of those guys that every time you want to match. Yep. I want to match. Do you want to play in teams? I'll play in teams. Don't play in inner geek. I'll play in inner geek. I'll do, I'll, I'll do it all. I, I just want to learn. Um, and then I put him in an MCU match and it was like Alex Damon took all of his knowledge from star Wars this this guy, what he knows about the MCU, I'm I'm surprised that this he's not Kevin Feige in a mask. Um, he is so good, he's so good in MCU, and of course I'm talking about Sean Gerber. Uh, Sean, I was shocked. I was shocked when you were not uh, drafted this uh, this season. 
I, I think that you were one of the picks that everybody was sleeping on. I think that you, you showed in your match with Mance that, you know, you knew your stuff in teams. You had a great team. You and Sabina, I thought worked really well. Um, and then your knowledge in, uh, in, in, in MCU, but how, what were your, were you a little, uh, were you a little ticked off that you weren't, uh, that you weren't drafted? Yeah, of course I was. I think I've shown, I know that the wins and losses ultimately count. And um, unfortunately we ended up on the losing side, but Part of the reason that we ended up on the losing side is, like you said, anytime you offer me a match, I took it. And I didn't care who it was. I didn't care if it was Bibbs and Seibold. I didn't care if I had to go up against Donica when he was hot in IG. And I found out that day that I was playing. No prep, no nothing. Right. Uh, but I'm always there to compete. But I see the results and I understand. But I think if you actually watch the matches and saw how I performed, I was definitely worth drafting. Well, I think so too. And I was, there were a few people and I actually, there was, there's, there were two people that stood out in my mind that I said, I can't believe they weren't drafted. You were definitely one of those people. Uh, well, you know, three, including, uh, I think uh, there's, there's, there were a good handful, but you were definitely one of those ones that, that stood out to me. Like I couldn't believe it. So you have been approached. People have been, uh, been coming up asking you made your decision. Yeah, I made my decision um, and it got a little bit easier because somebody makes an offer and then they pull it back. But, you know, uh, <laughs> that's yeah, right. it's all good. It's all good because, uh, you know, I, I knew where I wanted to go. There was somebody who uh, reached out over the weekend and didn't just make the pitch, but really stayed on it and laid out not just the desire to have me on the team, but also a strategy and a, and a vision for how they saw me being able to contribute in the role I could play yeah. on a winning squad. And so I'm going with swag. That's ah, a good pull. It's a great poll. Winston Marshall has turned out to be one of those managers um, that he's, you know, he's got a good pitch to it. He he's, he's, uh, he's understanding. He knows the game. He's a, he, he's a guy that he's a student of the game already. He's only been a manager for just a little bit, but he's passionate. You can tell that he cares about his players very much. So, so that's a good call. I think that you're going to do well. For, I think you'll do well with them. So that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. Winston's got a plan. We know where we're going from here and I can't wait to get started. All right, brother. So look, Sean Gerber, he's back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from the MCU Exhibition Champion. Also another one of those matches you got coming up really soon. That'll be a fun one to watch. But now you're going to be in the league. Sean, ha really happy to have you back, brother. I'm happy to be back. Thanks for having me. You got it. All right. So Sean Gerber, he is out of there, but back in the league. Uh, exciting. Now, I had mentioned to you guys that, you know, there were some people that I couldn't believe didn't get drafted. Couldn't believe it. This is another guy that I couldn't believe didn't get drafted. And I think it's also because of visibility. I don't think enough people realized um, who he was because he wasn't, he wasn't a big flashy player. He wasn't a big, you know, he, he, he's, he's, he's quick witted. He's a nice guy. And sometimes maybe because there's so many, you know, uh, ruffians running around the schmo down that the nice guy is sometimes like, ah, but he's really no his trivia. Well, watch what he did in his team's match. Watch what he did in the second free for all. Talking about Frank Moran, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh hey, yes, hair, Frankie, I like that hair. Uh, I know this is the uh, the, the quarantine look. You got this, got this. I'm blowing, growing hair out from both ends. I'm digging it. I like what you're doing over there. It looks good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How you doing, man? You so look the the same. I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked Sean when you know because we had, we have been in contact about the draft, uh, and then you know it it comes about you don't get drafted. Were you bummed? Did you did you get it? Like what? what how'd you feel? Yeah, I mean, you're, of course you're bummed, but I mean, I could understand as well because my track record, as you were saying, my visibility is low. I mean, the one team match I competed in, I lost. So I have an 0-1-1 record. Even though I did, I, I had a good run in the free-for-all, it's still not a large sample size. And I could understand right. why people might be reluctant to pull the trigger on me. Um, well, that's not the case now because free agency came. You were, I know that um, I had reached out to you and I had said, I think towards the, it was we were coming to the wire and this thing, I said, so who's reached out to you? You're like, no one yet. And I'm yeah. like, what? And then I had sent a, I sent a, a text to everybody and let them know because I, I let all the managers know. I sent a, I was, you know, want to be fair to all the managers and tell them when a new free agent or anything too. And then it changed, right? Then a bunch of people reached out. I, I w was uh, very blessed. I was not expecting, I mean, again, for the reasons I just said, I wasn't expecting like, ah, there's a lot of talented people. Who's going to give me the nod? But I, I got reached out by one fa uh, one team and then I got, uh, I was like, oh, great. That's awesome. Thinking that I was set. And then late uh, down to the wire i got reached out with uh, by another team and uh it was interesting to have to all of a sudden make a choice okay so i know i i know i was reaching out uh asking for advice from people like what should yeah. i do i did my research i looked around uh and i i went with the team that 
uh, spoke to me uh, mm -hmm. for a couple of the things that I was looking for to accomplish in the Schmodown. Yeah. Uh, and some of the things I may have struggled with in my first appearance. Uh, this guy had a, uh, a plan and a vision. So I was like, all right, I'm, I, I like what he's saying. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go with swag. Swag. Wow. So you're going with swag because I was hearing I was hearing different. I was hearing you were going somewhere else. I know it was tough. It, trust me. I, I thought I was going there. And then uh, Winston, there was just a couple things that he said that really kind of struck home to me about uh, his plan and what he thought I could do wow. for him. So, so so does manager does your other does the other manager know yet that you that you did that you didn't take that offer? I, you know, he could be, uh, no, I think this is going to be the definite confirmation and oh, I'm, I feel bad, I feel bad for doing this. Yeah, he's not going to be happy. So, uh, well, that, that, that's part of it. Um, that's, look, so look, this is the other thing I want to tell because for, for example, if there's someone that thought maybe they were going to get Frank and now they don't and they had a spot available, well, they have an opportunity now to be able to reach out to another player um, and they'll have until 3 o'clock today to make the decision. So, But, Frank, you're officially with Swag. That is Winston's last spot, man. So you, That's it. That's it. No more uh, spots for Swag. Another move for Winston. Love it. And the fact that I just saw Sean Gerber, yeah, I'm excited because I love Sean. I got a chance to play against him. I loved it. I love the guy uh, to get a chance to be on the same team with him. I am jazzed. All right. Frank Moran, again, having a great performance in Free For All 2. If you want to be more equated with Frank, I would say go and watch that. But, Frank, you're coming back. I'm excited to have you, brother. I am excited to be here. I'm ready to get it on. All right, Frankie. See you later, brother. All right. Frankie Ooh. is on swag. Look, we are just adding people by the second here. Only a few left. Only a few left, and I want to bring in another rookie because I'll be honest with you. Adam Collins, I knew about. I had heard about. I started hearing things about this guy. I'll be honest. I don't know anything about him. I don't know a thing. I know he's a fan of the show. I know that he's a, you know, he's, he's a good friend of, uh, of, of Nerd Chronic, of Eric, and I hear he knows his stuff. That's all I hear. And I hear, and, and I take Eric's word for things. I believe uh, when Eric tells me you know, that somebody's not going to burn down my studio, I believe him. So um, he says this guy is good. He says he knows his stuff, and I'm bringing him in. He is Andres. The hey. Hey. How are you, man? I'm doing great. How about you, Christian? I'm good, man. So listen, this is uh, this has to be very, uh, I would say, maybe intimidating, maybe exciting, maybe uh, maybe column A, column B. Oh. oh, yeah, it's definitely a bit of both. I mean, like, you know, just seeing the whirlwind of talent that's just going through that studio and going into the schmo down and just some of the trivia that's going by. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's 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 a pretty daunting thing, but it also it's very exciting. So, uh, all right. So real quick, what, so what's your, what's your strength? Like, what, what, what do you, what do you know? What do you, uh, what should we expect from you? You are, you are not a fan league player. You are just a fan of the show. You are a knowledgeable, uh, individual friends of, uh, very similar, like, let's say Rick, Rachel Cushing was a, was a friend of mine who, who just knows movies that you're a friend of Eric and you know, movies. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I mean, I like to joke that, uh, basically I went to daycare at a megaplex, but you know, it's just. Um, yeah, no, I mean, some of my strengths, I mean, I'm, <laughs> yeah, no, there's definitely an earthquake. <laughs> That's good. Oh, goodness. But yeah, no, um, no, but some of my strengths, I mean, uh, for some reason I was just oddly good at, mo uh, movie release dates because of the fact that I worked at a movie theater for almost 10 years straight. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I just, I mean, I'm like movie release dates, uh, Tarantino, just, um, a whole whole bunch of stuff. I'm. I, I feel like I'm actually pretty knowledgeable. In. All right now, you. So you've also you've also been reached out by a few people. Um, yeah. All right. So what do you? So what? What do you got? Where are you going? Where are you, Where are you going to begin your Schmodown career? Well, um, in terms of just uh, after much del deliberation and trying to just figure out where I'm going to make my debut and where I'm just going to. Show them what I got. Um, I had a couple offers on the table. I reached out to a couple of people, uh, you know, via Twitter, as you saw. Yep. And uh, I think probably the best place to start off my my debut as Gal Ghost is uh, in the dungeon with Kaiser. Oh, the dungeon! Kaiser taking the taking Kaiser's last spot. Going to start in. I think that's yeah. a good good move for you. The dungeon. He uh, he's a guy that is. Uh, you know, he's he is. Uh, like I was talking about Winston, I've known Kaiser for a long time. 
Kaiser cares very much about his players. Um, he will fight for you tooth and nail. He is one of those guys he's taken in his rookie season as a manager. He took uh, Oyama to the World Championship. He took Smets to the Inner Geekdom Championship. So you're in good hands, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, there, there were a couple. I mean, like I talked to a couple of the managers and they, they all had really great pitches. But when it came to Kaiser, I mean, it just kind of felt like something just clicked automatically. And I'm like, yeah, this is exactly where I where I feel like I should be. And yeah. just the talent that he has right now, which Mets and then also, you know, um, Video Drew as well, too, who's yeah. also a good friend as well. And yeah, it's it, it feels like this is the it feels like this is definitely the right place to start off at. Well, congratulations. I look forward to seeing what you can do. Uh, the dungeon is a good spot for you to do it. So thank you, Andres. I look forward to, to meeting you in person. All right. Thank you very much, man. All right, brother. All right. So once again, we have some, some rookies coming in, some new faces, some old faces. Talk about a rookie, not necessarily uh, a new face, newer face, but man, has this lady taken the league by storm? She hasn't even played. She hasn't played a match. She's showed up on SEN as a 1940s JLo. You might know her from from her great work there. Um, now this is the this is the thing about this young lady too. She, I didn't even know. I had asked her once if she was going to play. We had talked uh, on on SEN if she was going to play, and she said, "Yeah, I think I'm a, I, I'd like to play." As this free agent thing is going on, I'm getting texts from managers. I made an offer to to this person i made an offer to this person i made an offer everybody's making offers to this person they said can can she play us i've never seen a player match i have no idea i know she's knowledgeable i know that i can talk movies with her can she play in the game i have no idea but nonetheless she has been a very very sought after competitor i'm talking about sabrina ramirez hello sabrina How hi are guys you? i'm doing good has it has this been crazy for you or what uh it's been an insane weekend to say the least yeah <laughs> i'm sure like so so when we when we said that you were going to um play and that you know there were a couple of managers that were already kind of looking around this is before the free agency stuff kind of happened yeah. and then I made that announcement with the free agency you got approached by what five factions yeah, I, I tagged five in a tweet and they all approached me right away, which oh. um, I, I was super excited about. Um, I had been talking to people since the beginning, since I was on SEN. Um, so it was kind of cool to continue having that conversation, especially with people I know had always been kind of in my mind. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. well, I've I've talked to you. People were asking me, and and it, you know there was also, <laughs> there was there was big rumors that you were going to go with Swag, obviously because of your connection with uh, Winston and RB three, and obviously we know that's not the case because Winston has now filled up all of his spots. Um, Koi Jandrew over at the Mercs has um, has now he still has one spot left, but he is keeping that open until the deadline at at three p.m. today. But that leaves you know seven other factions. Yeah. So. Sabrina, I'm going to give you the floor here. This is a this is a big, big thing. What do you got? Yeah, after a lot of deliberation, you know, as we said, a lot of people reached out to me. Um, I've been constantly, I've been on the phone for hours, talking to players, talking to managers. Um, it's been really exciting. But one stood out to me after a little bit, and I just had to go in that direction. I knew that this was the right fit for me in terms of all different aspects, being a rookie, being a student of the game, not having played yet. So... I am going to the Finstock Exchange. Wow, the <laughs> Exchange! You're, you're joining that yeah. that scoundrel, that scoundrel, uh, Finstock. Unbelievable! Look, it it it's not a stupid decision. And you look around you, minus uh, Finstock, you got Dan Merle, you got Ben Bateman, you've yeah. got the Barbarian, Mark Riley, John Roca. John's gonna be mad. I mentioned him last, but uh, you know. <laughs> You got all these people. You got, you know, Emily Rose Jacobson over there. Gray Drake. What a faction it is for you to learn. But what I do have to ask you, though, those are those are like a lot of legends of the game. And, you know, even even Gray Drake, who's been around since season one. Is it a bit intimidating joining that crew? Uh, a little bit. But but I have the confidence in myself and I know they have the confidence me in me, like talking to them on the phone extensively for a long time. <laughs> and. You know, I want to be surrounded by champions because I believe that I'll be a future champion. So I feel like I'm going to fit right in. I love that. Now look, one of the one of the criticisms that I heard over the uh, over the weekend when you know everybody was talking about you, obviously, and and one of the criticisms was they compared you to like Paul Oyama, and they said one of the things that Oyama, which is not a bad comparison, first of all, but <laughs> one of the things is that where your knowledge, you're 22 years old, and you know when you when you 
there's you're going to have a lack of certain movies that are out there and you're going to have to study more maybe than other people. So is that something that you think is a fair criticism? Is that something that you are just looking to maybe show your uh, your critics that, look, I'm here to play? Yeah, it's a completely valid criticism. You know, I've never shown my knowledge in this kind of capacity in like a trivia competition yet. I feel like I, I've showed a little bit of my knowledge on First Cut Channel, on the meaning of podcasts, but definitely not in this high pressure situation. But I'm not nervous about it. I'm 100% confident that I will put all of my effort, all of my abilities into something like this. And I am so excited. Well, we're excited to have you. Um, it is, you're obviously one of the big high profile free agents here. <laughs> never even playing a match, which is very, very interesting yeah. that you're able to do. That. And um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing you play. I'm looking forward to seeing how you fit into the characters over there. And, uh, but I think that you got some, you have some good uh, teachers because you got guys who have won multiple championships. You have people like Gray Drake and even, you know, and, and Emily Rose Jacobson, who's been out there now playing. So this seems like a good foon, a uh, good, good foon. The reason I say good foon <laughs> is I saw this. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like people underestimate Tom as a manager. His pitch to me is, was so meticulous, was so intelligent. I was honestly blown away. And he he made an effort to reach out to me so often to talk to me for answer any questions I had. He had an entire plan set out and he's like, this is what I believe you can do. So let's do this. He's like, I have 100% confidence in you. I feel like people underestimate him, like his actual abilities. I do think people do for sure. He's yeah. I've known him for a while. He's, you know, he plays, he plays the strange Andy Kaufman character, but he's a very, uh, he's a very, he's got a plan. He's got a plan, but your interview with Roxy is going to be very interesting now today yep. when, when you go on the show. So uh, I don't, I, I, I don't envy you there. Uh, so, look, this is exciting to have you in. Thank you for joining us today, and congratulations on your decision. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, everybody. Sabrina Ramirez, they are making her choice. She's going to the Finstock Exchange. Okay. So I thought I was going to have four more announcements. I have three. Now there's a potential that that fourth could come in. By the end, if I don't, then that fourth will uh, be announced hopefully by 3 p.m. But I definitely have three. Now, here's one of them. Now, you talk about vets in the league. You talk about not vets only in the league as competitors. You talk about vets as innovators, people who started the game with, you. Hey, you, you guys think you do after shows and after podcasts and reactions? Hey, we started all of that. We're the ones that started that. We're the ones that brought some fan recognition to the, uh, to the schmodown. Talking about late to the party over here. I'm talking Hello about. Hello there. Holy crap, Holy. dude. This is insane. The energy yeah. is mind boggling. Like yeah. this, it's still happening right now. It's still all happening. These offers. Still happening. It's a, still the, happening. Uh, offers and everything's, and there, there's moves being made because, you know, the, the, all the offers they have until three o'clock because some of these managers are looking out. Like, and like, I know for a fact, I can, I'll, I'll make, I'll make the, I think, I think. And I got to talk to him because I can't wait to see him cut a promo on him. I think Kaiser thought he was getting Frank Moran. I think so. I'll have to talk to John myself, and I'm sure that John will, will start screaming and yelling about it pretty soon. If that is the case, I might be wrong. But um, we're not here about Kaiser. We're here about you. You, um, I've seen Evan DeGraff was a mutual friend. Um, he is a, a, another uh, you know big Schmodown uh, fan inside of the community, part of the legendary Take Three production after show and. He was for a long time anyway. So he had made it very vocal that he was he could not believe that late to the party wasn't drafted. Couldn't believe it. And then couldn't believe that nobody was talking about it for a free agency. And I was pleasantly surprised that this morning I got an email from you and it said, Hey, you got some offers. You got some offers here and, and and you're pretty pumped. You're pretty excited. Where are you going? So uh, after our battle against Crimson Fury, when we were dressed as Wayne and Garth, um, after our loss, I kind of walked away and I ended up speaking to one individual, one manager, and through the conversation realized there were things on an entertainment and attack aspect that I could have done differently. And yeah. had I talked to this person before that match, I feel like things would have gone in our favor. So when it came down to talking to managers, throwing out pitches, uh, we figured, you know, there was one that would be perfect for me, but many that were perfect for us. And unfortunately, um, I, I've, I've got to split the party as of right now. Uh, I have chosen to go with the goat himself, Pilgrim Boy, Sam Levine, and the usual oh, suspects. Usual. That's, that's your, so this is official. You and Vanessa are breaking up as a team, and you are joining 
the usual suspects. I mean, look, you know this game just as good as anybody. You know the characters. You know everybody. You know the history of this league very well. You've you've done so many reactions and talked about it and analyzed it. Um, one of the decisions for you to do this, besides the fact that you know Sam so well, is the fact that you know you have access to Rachel Cushing. Is that accurate? Absolutely. In fact, uh, talking to Vanessa about this, uh, it's not just the wealth of knowledge that you're getting with Sam Levine. Rachel Cushing is a champion and a well-rounded champ that's probably different than Sam. So you're getting two icons of the game all in one. However, you know, Sam is the one that I'm going for. Sam is the one, double belts. I mean, bring right. that belt wax. I, he is the man. So it only made sense that to go for the top, you got to go with a leader that has been to the top and set up shop and hung out for a while before he brought others to the top with him. Well, let me ask you then, Robert, because you do know, you know, you've been with Vanessa, obviously, in the, in the showdown beforehand. It make, is part of the reason, like being able to see what you can do on a different team also, like if you're if you're matched up with with anyone else. There's always that desire to kind of see how the pieces fit if you take your knowledge and put it with somebody else's knowledge and interweave them. But at the same time, it's Vanessa. Like, we've been together on this channel the entire time. We battled our way through the Schmodown together. Even the free-for-all, when we would come out separate, you know, we're studying together. So to lose Vanessa just because there really wasn't space for her, unfortunately... Um, it, it does break my heart, but at the same time, yeah, it's, it's exciting. And Vanessa's running around here. I have no clue what's happening. Like she's running around. Deal. Talking she's, taking to people. Offers. she's taking offers. She's on the phone. I, I love it. I love that. That's the case. And, and so that's going to be our next person. Let's bring her in. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not even switch the screen out. There's Vanessa. Vanessa, Hello. Vanessa, hey, <laughs> you also have, uh, you know, sa same question. I think that I had for Robert. You know, you guys, uh, you, you had been kind of staples, really. You had a great match against the Wildberries, you know, uh, last season. And did you think, oh, yeah, we're, it's the draft. Of course we're going to get drafted. Um, I thought that, yeah, we were going to draft. I think that our record kind of shows that, yeah, we might have some losses, but we still have some great team matches, even though they were losses that we, I thought that like, oh, well, maybe people will pick us up because, you know, we do entertain when the Schmodown happens and that's what you want. You want a good entertaining match, whether that, wh whether, which outcome is going to be. So I was a little bit surprised that we didn't get picked up. Well, I mean, the free agency thing happens. You get some moves. Robert got some moves today. You got some. Some people are making moves. Robert said you're running around. You're on the phone. You're you're DMing. You've been offered. Oh yeah, What's I have deal? been offered. Um, I just I feel like we need to split for now. Yeah. I need to expand my horizons, and you know, shed shed the late to the party weight over here. What and go dead weight? Was that a fat joke? <laughs> Some beef. It could, yeah, it could be whatever you want it to be. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Awesome. I like it. Where, yeah. where are you going? So I have decided that I am going to go with Kate. Oh, and yeah. be with the den. Wow. The den picking up Vanessa. Split the, the party is split. New party. The den picking up both. Uh, de the den picks up Vanessa. And then we get the usual suspects picking up Robert. Really great. Uh, it's sad to see you guys break up, but hey, man, at least you both got uh, offers. I love it. I love having you back. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Thank All you. right. All right, guys. So look, like I said, so that's two more. We have one more. We have one more. We had two. We had two, but there's there's one that I'm going to wait out until 3 p.m. to make um, because it just couldn't it couldn't happen just yet. So what's this last one? What's the big one? What's the one? that I was teasing that I said, okay, what's it going to be? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to now let you guys know exactly what's going on, but I'm going to let you watch it. I'm going to let you watch. Here it is. Hey, this is Chris Jericho here. And after being approached and courted by many movie trivia Schmodown teams, much like a young Michael Jordan or a young Wayne Gretzky, I finally decided on which team to sign on the dotted line with. Now listen, there's been a lot of conversation, a lot of consideration, a lot of deliberation, a lot of uh, well, blatant ass kissing, I have to be honest with you. But uh, I finally made up my mind. And I will be appearing in the movie trivia Schmodown with the rock stars. Damn. 
That's right, and that's rock stars with an X. And if you think Chris Jericho doesn't know his movie trivia, well, Schmodown, let me ask you this. Who's the only actor to appear in both Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark? You might say Harrison Ford, but there's another. Who's the other one? How about William Hootkins? Look that shit up. I'm not messing around. Look out movie trivia, Schmodown. Under the tutelage, amazing leadership of Rock Destroyer, the rock stars are going to take it all. Orkins. So look at that move by Roxy Stryer. She gets Chris Jericho official. Her last spot, Chris Jericho is in the movie trivia showdown. He's been wanting to join for a long time. And I had conversations with Roxy. This isn't just one of these one and dones. Chris Jericho wants to play. Chris Jericho wants to be part of the uh, championship level. And Roxy, Roxy made it happen. I am giving, uh, this, is, this is all Roxy. I have I have made a lot of deals in the movie trivia showdown. I am not I, I have been in contact with Jericho in the past. This is all Roxy. You talk about manager wise, you talk about bringing hype to her team. You talking about bringing hype to the league. Well, this is what Roxy Stryer just did. Roxy Stryer just changed the game. She just brought in the Ayatollah rock and roll. She just brought in Chris Jericho, a champion a wrestling wrestling champion. Um, and, uh, he, he is, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to put that video out and I hope to have another, uh, announcement, hopefully by three. Um, and the, uh, the audience, uh, excuse me, the audience, the, the managers have, have time. The managers have time to until three o'clock today to lock in any picks. If they didn't get any picks of, of who they thought, but, um, man, we had a lot of big moves happen, but what a way, what, what a way to end it here today. Chris Jericho officially joining the rock stars. I'm sure the Roxy Stryer is going to be talking about how that all went down on her stream today. Listen to her stream, listen to the conversation that she has uh, with both Sabrina. And of course, how did she do it? How did she pull off Chris Jericho? Will she have Chris Jericho on her stream eventually? Maybe not today. Talking about uh, this pick. I'm sure she will. But this is a big move, everybody. This is a big move for the Schmodown. a big move for the rock stars. Big move in general for everybody out there. But there's still other things to be had. Uh, make sure, if you didn't know already, the Schmodown backstage show hosted by uh, both Ben Bateman and John Roca will be on Twitch tomorrow. It's not on this channel tomorrow. It's only once. Only once. Um, but it is tomorrow and they're going to have all, you know, they're going to break down all this stuff that happened, all the big news, all the big uh, free agency signings. Who are some of these people? Who are they? What are they going to do? How are they going to be? Will Kaiser kill Frank Moran? We'll find out. Uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to find out all of this stuff. And I also believe that Sean Gerber is going to have a chip on his shoulder. So watch out for what he does. Watch out for what Sean does. Like um, Sean's a nice guy, but he's pissed off. He can get drafted. He's going to shove it in people's faces. Adam Collins, what's he all about? Is he any good? Is he another one of these fan competitors that's going to come in here and take the league by storm? Perry Nemiroff is back. What's her and, what are her and Haley going to do? The Mance man, for God's sakes. I'm back. Scott Mance is back. You got Sabina Graves making another move. You got, I mean, uh, Andres Gallagos, all these people coming in. It's like, this is exciting times for the Schmodown. Molly Damon entering the tournament. Molly Damon. Coming in, she, what, what, what's she going to do now? Can you imagine if Molly Damon takes out Andrew DeMolanta in the first or second round? Can you imagine if that happens? This is going to be nuts. This is going to be a nutty, nutty time here. And, and, and Sabrina going to the Finstock Exchange, joining the ruffians, late to the party coming back, breaking up, hearts broken. This is nuts. And I'm so glad that I'm in the middle of all this chaos. Um, thank you guys for joining us here today. I love it. I love it. I'm hoping you're enjoying it. I want to get to a, you know what I have to do actually too. I didn't, it was because what I'm going to have to do, it doesn't register. I'm, if on my next show, if there were any stream, uh, super chats that came in, I'll make sure that I, that I get them in there and I, and I ask them maybe on uh SEN tomorrow, but, uh, this is good stuff. This is, uh, this is Chris Jericho is my hometown hero. Winnipeg born look, and he's, and he's officially part of the showdown with the rock stars. Pretty nuts. All right, everybody, look, 
So, you know, and one more thing, one-on-one with Christian Harlow comes back and I'll be interviewing director Josh Trank today. That's going to be pretty exciting. I'm going to have him for about a, a full hour. We'll be talking about um, everything. Well, what's this? Let me see if, if we get the video. No, no video yet. So that's so funny. So I think it was that, who was this? Somebody just, um, somebody just texted me and said, uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They're very excited that, that Chris, everybody, everybody's texting me about Chris Jericho. Of course, I understand. People are not, people are, are very excited about it. I, I would be too. PJ Campbell is pumped. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you very much for joining us here today. A lot of people. Make sure you hit click like if you're watching. Um, and then, uh, you know, tweet at Jericho. Let him know that you're excited that he's in the league. I think that's going to be uh, something that he's going to be pumped to hear. And the fact that he's on the rock stars. So, um, yeah, maybe who knows? Maybe he'll maybe maybe we'll get him in a live event. He can he can play. He can have Fozzie play uh, play a song at a live event. It'd be amazing. Uh, thank you all. Thank you for the competitors. Thank you for the managers for working as hard as they can. And there'll probably be another another uh, announcement later on. We're, we're hoping. If not, those are the rosters. And that's it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's not the one I wanted. Where did it go? There's one more comment I want to I want to highlight, and it's gone. Where did it go? There it is. So you stop doing that to me. I keep trying to trying to bring up a, a comment here, and it keeps disappearing. I don't know where it went. It was... The, the manager of the rock stars herself, Roxy Stryer, was in here, and now it's and now it's gone. Yep. Boom. Roxy Stryer. Chris Jericho is a god among men, a true rock star. Roxy, you know I've always been a fan of yours, um, and we're good friends. You can do no wrong to me, for me right now. You can do no wrong. What a move that was by you. That was a massive, massive move. Anyone that says you're uh, not one of the best managers of all time is an imbecile. Uh, very good move. Smart move. Great signing. And that's it. Thank you guys very much for joining us here on this special broadcast of the Schmodown. Uh, this was the free agency special. A lot of good moves to be made. A lot of good moves still to be made. And uh, I can't wait to see all the breakdown. I know that the there's going to be tons of podcasts out there talking about it. I hope late to the party does something about this. I mean, to see the to see the uh, the, the quarrels between these two, and also to see what what has actually happened. And I'm sure the uh, the Jericho news also. And of course, the barbarian writes me right away and says he wants a match against Jericho. Everybody wants a match against Jericho now. All right, so we will see you guys very very soon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, watch Roxy's. Do not forget, I would watch Roxy's stream ASAP. As soon as this thing, I think she goes at twelve thirty. I think so. Go and check that out. Go and check that out because she's going to be talking to Sabrina. She's going to be talking about how she got Jericho. Do it. All right. Let the English see you do it. All right. We'll see you next time.